<clears throat> Hi folks, this is a, another video on another laptop repair, which I was going to repair the screen, if you can see that. That's a bit of a mess, and it's, I believe it's a touch screen as well. This is an Ace, Asus, not Acer, Asus, Asus, that's how you pronounce it. This is an i5 Quora, I think it's had some serious abuse. Um, this model is a Asus S500C. Um, I've tried to get this going. It does. It does seem to work, but um, the BIOS in this is actually a nightmare. Um, I'm trying to get to Windows 10 on it, which I've done, rebooted it, and then it comes up with all sorts of errors. Not so much. Uh, it just says the uh, the BIOS doesn't recognise the hard drive. <clears throat> so I'm going to do, before I go any further. I'm not bothered about the screen for now. If I can't get this working, then I'm not going to go any further. So I'm going to replace the hard drive with an SSD. Uh, and see how we get on and then try and reload the operating system. I just thought I'd give you a quick video on how to do that. So close the case, flip her over, and for convenience I've already took out the screws at the back, but it's already been taken apart once because he came out very simply. And I think someone's been having a good old fiddle. So using a pry tool, I'll just start in the corner, doesn't matter which corner you use. Let's see that, that's it. Oh, I did go, I did, that was it. Get it carefully and then round the front. Put a bit of pressure. Not too much pressure, we don't want to break anything. Okay. Before I put it back together as well, and this is another way as well, the video also, how you can change the battery. This is your battery, and you've got one, two, it's maybe not even that, one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and I'm not too sure which is the battery link. Well, I wouldn't know without taking it apart, but I will be taking it apart completely if it doesn't work. So anyway, just to replace the hard drive for now. So four screws, you can see that one, two, three, four. It definitely looks like this has been a part before. Um, so it's not a viable repair. I'm not going to go any further, like I said. So hard drive out. We have four screws inside casing, so that's a good news as well. Looks like it's had a bit of a spillage here as well. It's definitely had some abuse. It's a very, very nice laptop. Three and four. Okay, I don't think that's protective, now it stays with the hard drive. Okay, so just reverse how you took it out. I think these SSDs are amazing. I'm just gonna put them down like that for now, make it easier for myself. Okay. I don't use a magnet screwdriver for this, it's not really advisable. And really you're supposed to use um, static cable, I haven't got one. Number three, I hope I've done this the right way around, I think I have, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then just gently sliding back in, and the four screws. I shall get set up in a minute, and um, I'll get it all powered up for you. And then we'll have a go to see if we can get another operating system on it and then reboot it and see what happens. I won't put, take you through it all, I'll just take you through 
the majority. Okay, and number four. I'm not going to put the cover back on either. I think we should be all right without the cover. <laughs> so I just want to see if the BIOS picks up the um, the hard drive. If you can see that. Because all I'm getting now it's it's starting Windows. It's going to do that because it, it doesn't recognise the hard drive, and also Windows has to be redone again. Um, okay, that looks pretty good for now. So we'll see. I'll go and reload Windows, and then um, it could have been the hard drive. And then if it's worth it and it's all okay, I'll do a video on replacing the screen as well. Okay, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, if I got this set up right, I put in a USB stick containing Windows 10 64 bit. Uh, I'll try the Alt Control and Delete. That's not going to work, so I'll hold the power button down for about seven seconds to make sure the machine is totally switched off. And on these, you press the escape key to get to your boot option. So, keep pressing the escape. And we should. With a bit of luck, if you can see that. Here we go. So, so it looks like it has. Now, before it wouldn't find that drive, so I, I presume that this drive I've took out is absolutely knackered. Then, 500 gig, but it wouldn't find it. So, I will load Windows on this one. I'll just show you the first bit, and then we'll leave it at that. So, wait to Windows to start. Come on, little whirly. Alright, I'll bring you back in a second when she starts. Okay, so we're going to pick... We can't do the top option because that just stays as United States. So the bottom option, then we'll choose United Kingdom, depending on where you live. And then change that one to... United Kingdom as well. And then next, install now. If this all works, then I will repair the screen. Because I'm going to build this one for my granddaughter as a bit of a present. And it's a nice machine. I'll put some more memory in. So then you get this screen, which is you have to accept. And next. And then the custom install advanced and I'll delete both partitions so I'll just delete them I won't format them and say yes to that and then the reserved one as well delete that say okay and then you should have just one partition correct and then just go next and hopefully Windows will start loading there we go so I'll get back to you in a bit okay so far so good I had to put a password in, I'm not going to show you that one. <laughs> uh, it's going to restart in a minute. I've took the USB stick out. So this is what happened last time and it didn't fire up, so... Um, yep. Let's see if it goes straight into Windows. Ah, uh, looks like we're on target. So if this works okay, I will now do a repair on the screen, which will be another video. Okay, so... Hard drive replacement. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. If you'd like to say anything in the description below. And, um, yeah, thank you. See you in the next vid.